tell me how because obviously something really happened between you guys how does it even get started because you know i can't imagine watching somebody on tv that's doing some kind of reality show and then you're like oh if only they knew the you know what i'm saying i'm sure a lot exactly. of them feel, right if only they knew what i knew so let's start with y'all history how okay we'll we'll go back we met like on um twitter I'll say sometime around 2009 or 10 or whatever. And we were just like, you know, he like, okay, he like my stuff. I like his stuff. And then, you know, there'd be some inbox flirting here and there, blah, 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 blah whatever. Um, you know, two, three months go down the road, some more flirting, nothing major. Right. And so in 2011, I moved to Atlanta and I was like, hey, I mean, we finally in the same city, blah, blah, blah. Right. blah. He invited me to the studio. I'm like, who all is there? He was like, me and the homies. And I was like, okay, are there any women there? And he said, no. And I said, well, I don't feel comfortable going. So then I didn't hear from him from like a long time, which was perfectly fine with me because mm -hmm. I know what goes on in the studio. Yes. So then, you know, I moved on with my life, dated him, him and him. And so then I think it was, you know, 2018, you know, I was drunk texting. And, right. you know, I sent him something that caught his attention and he was like, hey, let's, you know, meet up or whatever. Okay. And so the day we were supposed to meet up, see, I should have been listening to God. I had a heart attack. Oh, my God. And so I was in the yeah. hospital for like four days. I was like texting him like, hey, I was got sick. I'm in the mm -hmm. hospital. I'm going to be out work two weeks. Still want to meet you, blah, blah, blah. No response. Mm. So about a month later. He texts me to meet him at this club or whatever that he was performing at. So I was like, I ain't doing nothing. Okay, whatever. So I go down there, you know, we meet. He gets there at the time. He said he would, you know. And so, um, you know, we kind of hung out here and there throughout the club. And he was, you know, entertaining his people. And so it was time to leave. And I was like, so, you know, what's the plan? Like, you called me all the way down here. What's up? And then he was like, oh, I don't know. Send me your address, blah, blah, blah. And I told him then, I said, look, your old ass still got groupies and you damn near 40. And I said, but you got some decisions to make, so choose wisely. That's all mm -hmm. I'm saying. If you want to do this over here, I'm cool with that. I can go on about my way. So, you know, I talked a bunch of mess and some text messages. Next day, I get a phone call. I want to spend the whole day with you. I want to chill with you, get to know you, blah, 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 whatever. And then we've been, you know, hanging out ever since. Fast forward, like, four or five months, you know, he's, like, showed up at my house, like, several days in a row, like, looking homeless. Oh. And... um I had, um, he had came over on Thanksgiving and we were going separate places. And I was like, well, if you want to come back, you know, I'll give you a key or whatever. Needless to say, I never got that key back and he moved oh, wow. me. Hmm. Wow. You know, and then he didn't have nothing when he came. I bought the man a whole new wardrobe, socks, drawers, all that. So then he was okay. got a little job. He was trying to get him a car and, you know, everybody was failing him. Um, he couldn't get anybody to help him get the car. So this went on for like about a month. And then he was stressing. He was telling me he had a show to do in Tampa, which we gonna circle back to that. Okay, gotcha. Um, he had the show to do in Tampa. He needed to get his kids. He he just made it seem like he was desperate to get this car because it was preventing him from getting money. Okay. He had a job, he had means to pay for it. So I was like, all right, we'll see, you know, if I can co-sign. Which oh my god, I couldn't yeah. even co-sign because he didn't have enough credit for me to co-sign. So the car was solely in my name. He never paid the diamond insurance on the car, and I had to beg him monthly for Not the car. Big. Oh my god, big. big. And um, so then there was that. And then when I say circle back around, come to find out later on towards the end of the relationship, he was running back and forth to Tampa to be with some other woman in the vehicle that I put my name on the line for. And yes, I had made a few payments to protect my credit. And then exactly. I would have to wait for him to call me back or pay me back. There are some pictures that are a service saying on uh, one of my a blogger, I call my brother, he posted on his page, a couple of women they're like, who are these women that they kind of well, there And there's a number of women, and these are just the ones I know about. Um, 
you know, we went to Dubai. He was texting some woman that he wishes that he was there with her, which is, I think, the girl in um, the Adidas track suit. And then there's the the girl, um, the Caucasian girl from. Oh, from yes. Mm -hmm. she, she's been around for a long time. I, yeah. When I found out about her, I actually, we were in Vegas and he left his phone open and I was going through his phone and there's pictures of her doing yeah. things to him. Yeah. Gotcha. And I was like, who is this chick? But he didn't have anybody's name saved as a regular name. So then I had to go through his friends list to find a person that looked like her to figure out right. oh, that's her. Okay. Did you so communicate with her or, or no? Uh -huh. Did you communicate with her or any of the girls? No, I've never, I've never communicated with her. Um, now we fast forward some more months. Well, it's the summertime and um, the kids come and stay with us for the summer because he has to keep them and there's mm -hmm. nowhere for him to take them. So they were there for a few months, you know, fed them, made sure they had entertainment. Of course. You know, Mm -hmm. all that stuff while holding down a job. And he would just leave and be like, I'm going to the studio and be gone for days. And his kids was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he would be like, they would come start to come to me. Like, have you heard from my dad? Do you know where my dad is? And I'm like, I'm, I'm not understanding. Like, I don't know what to tell them. Like, mm -hmm. oh, he'll be back in a little bit. You know, then the younger two left. And then I helped them get custody of the older one, um, the one that uh, she's 18. So this okay. was, you know, she was 17 at the time right. or 16 at the time. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, I helped them get custody of her. She was still there. And like I would leave and go to my friends and go to, away for the weekend or whatever. I come back. Your dad ain't been home. No. Did you eat? No. Like, all right, well, come on. I'm going to go here. Let me get you something to eat before I leave. Yeah. You know, and granted, I feel like when I'm dating someone, their kids are my kids. I'm not going to yeah. treat them no better or worse than I do my own. Right. So it's just like mm -hmm. I'm trying to help you build a better relationship with your children and you're steady messing it up. Wow. So, so I'm, you, I'm, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, baby. You, I, I was just going to say, so when you were saying what you were saying, you were saying like, I'm, I was there. I was in it. And and I know you. I know you've been watching. Well, I'm not gonna say I know, but the show is. You know, people are talking about the whole stretch with Kai, and I wanted to ask about that as well. I was still the first to episode. I didn't even see the first episode. I saw the clip, and okay. I'm not saying he did or didn't sleep with her because who knows what the producers are doing with editing. But if he okay. did sleep with her, I knew it was gonna happen. The only way that I knew that he wasn't gonna sleep with her is if she said no. Yeah, she admitted that. She said the next the next video the next episode of one that just came on. She actually said they slept together, and he didn't deny okay. it. Yeah, and it. so and and it doesn't surprise me because I it's like a what I want to say a, a I call a relationship Ponzi scheme. It's okay. like he dates this woman to elevate himself to get to this woman and that or type of woman that he dates that woman to elevate himself and put him in different circles to get the next woman the type of woman that he wants is a business woman with a bad body that's probably a super freak or has hoe tendencies but not technically a hoe gotcha gotcha you know he's got this <laughs> what he wants mm -hmm. and then but he can't afford that chick Mm. But wait, okay, no, I'm not trying to be funny, but didn't he have a hit like with Ludacris and all of that? One of my favorite songs? That's that back in the 2000s. And that's another thing that used to make okay. him mad because I would never call him smoke. He has always been daring to me. And okay. then when he would be like, well, you know, smoke this, I said, well, smoke is, is who you get paid to be. Mm -hmm. I'm in mm -hmm. love with Darian. You know what I'm saying? I'm with Daring. I'm not with Smoke. You get a check to get on stage and be Smoke. This ain't no stage here. And that's just, I mean, and then that's, you know, even, and then later on, he brought his mom, his two brothers. Oh, wow. His pregnant sister, her man, and they two-year-old was all living in my house. And then he had the nerve to tell me that he was gonna move out because it was too many people there. And but it was his people though. <laughs> Everybody in the house was blood, almost blood related to him right. in some way or another, and me. 
It's like seven of them and me. And the crazy part about it is, I'm going to be honest, I got truth with you. When he left, he was like, well, if I leave, then my mom and them will go find somewhere else to stay, and then I'll be back. And there was a part of me that was about to fall for that and been like, okay, this is just too much, blah, 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 whatever. But then the mama is the one who told me he was married, and he know I don't play that. So after that, I, there's no coming back from that. Yes. Yes. Like, I'm done with you because... I've been laid up with you all this time. I didn't help you get a car. I didn't help you build a better relationship with your kids. I didn't took care of your kids, fed your kids, all this stuff. You know, I'm talking day to day maintenance, nails, yes. haircuts, all mm-hmm. this stuff, you know, whatever. I you know, you stay out at my pool, all, all this stuff. And then this is what you're going to do. You knew this. You married this woman before you even not met me, well, met me physically, but yeah. you married this woman before you laid down with me the first time. How long, so is he still, so he was still married when y'all was getting together? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Actually, how, long we gotta, how long was y'all together? Like total? Like? Almost two years. And he, Dang. when I first met him, he had me picking him up from this woman's house uh-huh. saying that it was his auntie's house. Because so, the same address that's on the marriage certificate is mm-hmm. the same address that I used to pick him up at in every oh relationship. Now, Curtis, so this is the in the beginning. So we're like maybe seven or eight months in. Right, right, right. At this point. So he I hadn't caught him in any lies up until that point. So mm-hmm. I believed that the information that he gave me was true. Right. But Shortly after the Dubai trip is when like some of the lies started coming out. He would explain them away. Let me tell you how sick this man is. We were coming. I can't remember if we were on our way or coming back from Dubai, but he claimed that he had a show to do in Jamaica. And at that point in time, Sean was posting some, uh, Sean Jay, the other member of the group, was posting crazy mess on... um, uh, being sick or killing himself or oh, oh, okay. some crazy mess. He used this information to me saying that they were supposed to go do a show. He's still going to go to Jamaica. He's just going to host or whatever. So I think that he's going to Jamaica for work. Like literally we got off the plane one day, we went home, washed his clothes. I washed his clothes, packed his bag for him to go on vacation with another woman the attorney which one okay there was two because there's two of them i know I, well, the, okay well janita is the attorney okay okay Oof. yeah so he, i found all this out later so he didn't have any financial nothing so after okay because i know you get residuals from the then we have a song i know even if it's a one hit mur- uh wonder some people still getting a check from the, the song then, so. then them checks ain't no real checks you can make more money at mcdonald's them checks ain't no real checks is he getting a check for the song? But you're saying well, I mean he he gets a check. Okay. I don't know. Like I remember one time him telling me it was like a few hundred dollars. So I don't know if they vary, you know, depending on if they get played or or end okay. up on somebody's TV show, right. what however okay. it is. But he was making it seem like they come randomly. They're not a whole lot. I mean, like honestly, mm-hmm. I never really seen him with any kind of money except for like the first couple of months when he got that job. And once he got that car, he quit the job because it was interfering with his studio time and his shows. And then when he did do actual shows, he would, um, it was always an excuse. Either he blew the money gambling, um, the promoter ran off with the money. Um, you know, he had to spend it on the kids, but at the same time, you know, the ki- kids' moms is blowing up the phone. You ain't did this, you ain't did that. If you get no. money, then why are they calling saying that you didn't? I mean, not my phone, his phone. Like that. Right, but you hear what's going on and everything. I'm about to say, did, right. you, talk to, did you talk? Did you talk to any of the, the girls? I was going to ask you. Talk to any of the exes at all? The, I'm surprised that you have a conversation. The the I've talked to um the the mother of the two children because. After everything was over with, me and her had a conversation, and she told me that she slept with him in my house, in the spare bedroom, not my bedroom. Different. And um, 
you know, I had watched the kids for her over the holidays because, you know, everybody is like, we don't have this. We don't have that. So I kept the kids two weeks after I had broke up with the man. Like that was November. So it was December when you know I kept his kids. And so and then I had talked to the uh, Janita one time because I felt like he was lying about some show in Alabama. Um, and uh, she knew because he had went to jail. And when she called me, she was like, oh, you the girlfriend, right? And I was like, how did you even get my number? For real? And I'm like, she was like, well, it's going to cost eight, something, something. I said, yeah, I know how much it costs to get him out because I called and got the charges reduced so that he can only pay X amount of money to, you know, get out. But you're the attorney, but I'm doing the attorney work. I'm so not good. 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 For real? <laughs> What's happening? What did and she it, say about that? She was like, "What?" Well, I told her, I said, look, it's eight hundred and ninety dollars or whatever to get him out. And then um, I, I said, I got five. And then she was like, oh, well, I guess I'll pay the rest. That's when I knew that something was going on, because as an attorney, who's paying all this money? You know what I'm saying? It, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because most attorneys will be like, well, can you call somebody? Can you borrow it from somebody? Can You know, whatever. And so then I knew then, and then she was like, well, I'm a PayPal it to you. So I was being petty. I said, make sure you pay out the fees too. So I can uh, exactly. em- immediately deposit into my account. Baby, I would lower the amount on oh, my bad. I thought I had five on it. I only got the two. So you got the rest of it. We good. All right. Girl, right. you know, it's just it's just like a hot mess. But then, like, you get so emotionally invested, you know, I, at this point, I'm financially invested with the vehicle. I'm financially invested, you know, in in trying to help you get your career started, because that's the thing that he plays on. Like, oh, you know, I just need to get back on top or I need to do this acting thing. And, you know, and you get caught up in the I'm doing good. My man should be doing good. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, you know, I, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't make a whole, uh, you know, I wasn't making a whole lot of money, but I was comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I was, you yeah. know, I wasn't hurting for nothing. Right, right. I so feel like. I was, so, I'm sorry. Go ahead, baby. No, I was just saying, I felt like God blessed me to be able to bless others, but, you know, he was just okay. taking advantage of me and several other women. Even the, the the younger child's mom, she knew him off and on in the internet world or running in the same circles for eight years before they hooked up. And then they was like together for two years and had a baby and then he left her. So he has this thing where he keeps these ties and he keeps communications with people so he can, you know, be in the area to connect to them when he needs something. It's It's like a disease or something. It's a game to him. It's not real. You know, people's feelings and emotions are not real. So, as far as ooh, okay. I put it off overnight, but I, I tell you about that time that that I found out he was married. That light switch went off. Yeah, but it did. I don't think I ever fell out of love with somebody that fast. Now, was I hurt? Yes, because I feel like I wasted all this time. I feel like I was genuine in my actions, and then to me, I felt like every everything was a lie. Like you didn't went to Vegas. You didn't met my dad. You've met my kids. You've hung out with us on a family vacation. We went to Dubai. You know what I'm saying? Like the, all these things that you do now I'm meeting your mom. I'm watching your kids, all these things that, you know, in the, in the real world are steps to elevating your yes, relationship. relationship right 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 get towards that the ring like, is it say a right word? but you could never give me one because even if that marriage is for legalization you mm-hmm. still can't marry me bigamy right you can't if you're still married to somebody else so no it's not going to be seen as a real marriage in the law's eyes you, you oh, you're right. promising me and whoever else out there something you can't give them until whatever time frame that you signed up for on that other situation. And he uses words that are vague so that you interpret it for what he wants you to mean in the moment, but it's so vague when it comes back around later on, you, um, he can twist the interpretation and like, oh, that's not what I meant, or I never said that. Um, for example, you know, he used to always say, Oh, we're a team, we're building, we, we but you failed to tell me that there was like 10 other players on the team. 
Oh, snap. Not on the other players. <laughs> so he got a whole team, baby. Got a whole team. A roster. Okay. A roster. Oh, my God. So when you, you know, sent the message, oh, I'm sorry, when you sent the message, this was in the beginning of the season when I hadn't even watched the show. So when you sent the message, you was like, look, I want somebody to know about this because this is, you just knew it was going to be. So you didn't know it, obviously, because you're not a producer. No, I knew. I knew this was going to be a hot homemade man. Oh, you did? Oh, wow. Because that's what he is. Like, you know, I've been doing my little research. He is a total narcissist. Like, he can take a very self-confident woman who's about her business and break her down. And it's because he wants you to be on the same level as him. He would tell me things like, you know, you shouldn't brag about all the stuff that you got going on at work because if you're dating someone who has less than you, that might be a deterrent. Okay, I'm sorry mm -hmm. if I signed $100,000 worth of contracts today and you that know. upsets you, exactly. you can go out and get you a $100,000 contract so we can pop some bottles and celebrate. I'm not going to stop my shine because you're not shining right now but then when something good happens for him he wants the whole world to stop and celebrate so everything's happening right now is not a surprise to you and as you know mm -hmm. uh did you see the last episode i did where... see the the last i did see the last episode okay so you saw when she said it all he's and i'm going back what you said the words the look all he said was mm -hmm. and the only reason why i'm having this conversation with you is because there's some woman out there right now thinking oh well you know i could fix him i can cook for him Probably. i can do x y and z and make him behave it is not possible Mm. I don't care if you got uh, platinum dripping out of it and it's shooting stars and fireworks and rainbows. There is nothing that's going to make that man stop doing what he's doing until he wants to. Yes. And, and the torture process, you know, it's like a roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's one minute he's all lovey-dovey and affectionate and want to be all up under you. And then, you know, there's the drugs involved. And then it's, you know, he's mean to you. He doesn't comprehend regular conversations. Then, you know, it's, he's demeaning and calls you, you said, by your name. You said drugs involved. You mean just like a regular green or something like that? Or you no, man. Like no, man. No, no, no. Mama, no. Yeah. Oh no. Because I'm just I'm just saying he ain't never had no money after no show. Okay, I got you. Oh my Lord Jesus. I mean, all that money. I got, that's text, all I got text messages. I'm gonna pay like the last two shows that he did, the one in Alabama in 19 and the one um funk fest or whatever it was in 19. I bought them clothes he wore on stage. With with promises to get paid back after the show, money gone. I got uh whatever he did in Miami that October November, and he was supposed to be bringing me my car back. Took him a month to bring me my car back, and he was saying that he was stuck in Miami because the promoter ran off in the money with the money, but he was really in Tampa running tolls. Got the receipts for that because the car is in my name, and guess who they sent the bill to? He was constantly lying about what was going on. And and like, for example, we go to Dubai. He came with a hundred dollars. Who goes to Dubai with a hundred dollars? Dubai is very my uh, cousin is very uh, rich out there and you want to spend money. Even if you travel traveling period, you want to spend a hundred dollars because more than that, a hundred dollars will probably be gas if you're driving. I go to Louisiana's hundred dollars to and from. So I'm not gonna just go with no hundred dollars. I'm just gonna get gas, that's it. And I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, I mean, he's, he's just, you know, he's, he's inconsiderate. He, he never, when, when he did have money, he would be like, where do you get money from? Oh, wow. Well. See, somebody probably was taking care of him. You were taking care of him. I'm, I'm taking saying. care of him. And I did it in the, the material way. Cause yeah. I never physically gave him money, but you know, I be, you know, okay. I buy liquor, I buy weed, I buy clothes, you know, make sure the kids was fed, make sure we all ate, you know what I'm saying? The roof over our head, you know, so mine was all for things, but it added up to about 20 grand. Have you, okay, so what was the last time you talked to him? Was it a back, was it kind of negative or whatever? Last time well, y'all. The, the, 
the the last time I physically somewhat spoke to him, my brother had um, been murdered and I wanted him to come get this dog they left with me. And he said that he was going to a class, a drug class, and that um, he would call me back in an hour and he never did. A couple of days later, he posts to everybody on his social media that his car had been stolen. And um, at that point, he blocked me. But, you know, his mama, you know, she was still cool with me at the time. Said, Have you seen this? I said, no, I'm blocked. So I went and blasted him about it. I was like, oh, you mean this car that's sitting at such and such address in mm -hmm. North Carolina, Georgia? And posted the picture of his car that well now my car post to my next to my actual car because i had a charger and he had a, a right. charger. yeah like why are you oh you trying to get sympathy trying to get attention like i'm sitting up here trying to deal with the death and you on here lying to the masses trying to get attention so now you got an excuse of why you can't drive to be with your hoes they got to come pick you up in there and mm -hmm. my whole point with the with you know the things that i had posted is is not just Kai, you know what I'm saying? This has been going on, like it's it's a number of women. And there's some, there's, I've seen three or four names in his phone. Uh, you know, my, my investigation skills had not allowed me at that time to get more information. Right. But, you know, from, I know that, you know, he had girls buying him phones, other girls buying him clothes. Maybe they weren't that deep into it, but right. these are, for people like I, I, I want people to know like this is torture. This is not a man like and he has a place with you, and then he has a place as well. That's, not, that's why I'm saying that this show is like all fake because the Caucasian girl is been in and out of the condo posting pictures since he got it. You know what I'm saying? And video since he got it. And then you just see pictures of them start surfacing up in like January and February. And somebody made a comment, said, look, all the pictures, like all the pictures and videos was taken in the same night. Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, I don't know how well versed they're into this, but every time there's something said, like, it, then there's a there's a there's another story to combat it. Like, it's to me, it's just like, there may be some truth into it, but it's a lot of fabrication or exaggeration because, you know, somebody was like, oh, well, they filmed this pre-COVID. OK, if they filmed it pre-COVID and we go back two years from pre-COVID, he mm -hmm. was with me the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So and there ain't no other or. It's still I mean, hitting yeah. that time frame. Yes. So, yeah. So when, when COVID hit, would y'all together? No. Y'all weren't together. No, wow. we broke up. Uh, we broke up in uh, November of nineteen, and then COVID hit March uh, twenty twenty. It actually hit in January, and actually hit then. We just right, that. right. So we, but yeah. when it got over here, and and we start shutting down, and it started affecting us over here. It was like end of February, March when right. that happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So y'all was already done. So, and then the last conversation y'all had was pretty ugly about the car and everything. So you have mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it was a hot mess on uh, internet. So yo, your the mom, does she still, y'all still cool or is it? Well, I haven't talked to her in, in a while. You okay. know what I'm saying? But at the initial part of the breakup, you know, she was like, hey, I just, you know, I'm sorry for, you know, everything he did. Like, if you wasn't going to be real, you know, I understand people grow away from each other. I get that. I 100% get it. Like you today, don't like you tomorrow. I 100% get that. But you was in it to be, he was in it to benefit him from day one. It was never about us. It was always about him. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, oh my and it's true. I got a text message right here where he told me that one of the girls was his sugar mama and that anything that interferes with him and his money, that he going to have to remove them or remove himself from the situation. Who in the studio, but there's no, there's no music. There's nothing. There's no music and there's no money coming from the music. That's true too. There's no, there's no money coming in because even if you're just making like song, you can, you can have like, here's the, um, a, a music I'm, I'm working on right now. He's he's had the song done. Something he never came through, but no new music. He Nothing played a song to me, and that same song was on somebody's video in the studio a year ago from the time that he played it from for me. 
Like he, this is what I've been working on in the studio and okay. played me a song. And I happened to be being nosy one day and there was a video of him from a year prior in somebody's studio with that same song. So you've been working on that same song for a year. What about his partner? Do you, I mean, did you ever get to meet him? Is he? Are they I, ne I never got to meet him. I had spoke to him uh, via chat um, a couple times because you know he was he they they was going back and forth on the internet or whatever. And at that point, I was just let trying to let everybody know that you know he's a pathological liar. And I mean, I'm not saying these things to like okay, just you know throw him under the jail, but mm -hmm. at the same time. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, I could overlook this or I could overlook that. And like, I'm like mm -hmm. this is deep and it is is serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish somebody had warned me. Like, I, I'm not from Atlanta. Like, the circles that we're traveling in, mm -hmm. like, like, he oh. targets business women that really don't know his reputation. You know, women that are financially self-sufficient, you know, maybe travel a lot for work you know, always got something going on. So they're not solely focused on him, but then he could still benefit from them having money and wanting to go places and being able to help him out or helping him get connections and, you know, stuff like that. So that's, that's his target because the people that I run with, you know, I got mm -hmm. people that are feds, police officers, you know, oh, other wow. people, sales people, like my whole crew, like we know of him mm -hmm. music wise. We don't know of him in the same circles that he would run in for me to get any information to be like, yeah, girl, that ain't what you want. Well, I'm surprised because you said you have friends that are in like uh feds so that, that nobody did a background or girl did you, I mean, I know y'all knew him as a the musician and all that, but I'm saying. Well, so I thought, I, I I thought I had been thorough, but I will tell you, I did check his for his marriage records in Clayton County, Cobb County, Fulton County, Henry County, and Gwinnett County, and I didn't find no marriage records. I never thought to look into Cobb County, but then when his mama told me, I said that get that could be lying because I checked all these counties and yeah. then when I researched the address. Then I was like, that's DeKalb County. And I went to the De DeKalb County records and boom, there it was. I just missed, I, I missed the step on my counties. That's, and I would have known two years prior because as soon as I started kicking it with him, I did my little, you know, search. Where is she at? Do you know where the wife is? I don't, I don't know her. Like I, I, like I said, I just came to the house a few times to pick him up from over there. I've never, I've I never met know. any of them in person except for the the two um the middle kids their mom i've met her in person and then um the lawyer i talked to on the phone the old for trying to get him out of jail well after that too because we had a whole conversation about who i was and who she was lord have mercy oh you were the lawyers so i bet that conversation was very insightful Oh yeah, it was. And she was like, I didn't know this and I didn't know that. And then um, but even after we broke up, she still went with him. And then she we had another conversation. And then she had paid for a whole bunch of stuff for his t-shirt line. And she told me he got mad at her because she was like, Where is Dina at? I didn't realize how much stuff she paid for. We need her. And she said that he got mad and stormed out the house. Oh my to my you. Yeah, because oh, she was joking. She was joking. Right. I got you. I got she had been shelling out all this money. So she was mm -hmm. like, dang, I didn't realize Dina paid for so much. Where's she at? We need her. And she said he got mad and stormed out. So so he's living, I mean, allegedly, he's living off of other women's. Mm -hmm. People really think that he's, well, I don't ever assume this, because a, a person can make a, a hit song or be on TV one time or whatever and have no money. There's just people who did a little TV shows and you see him working at Target or something. There was nothing wrong with Target, nothing at I all. I mean, look at um Jeffrey from um uh, Cosby show. Well, okay, that is a story that's true, but what ended up happening to him, he's now on well, the show's not over with, but uh, Tyler Perry put him on have and have nots, and mm -hmm. he's been on that show for the last two years because somebody spotted him in the little store, and I guess they feel bad or like, oh that's him, bro. So they put him on, and baby, he hit a lift. I didn't feel like that. Because he's been there for two years, right? And see, that's the that's where he gets you. That's part of the the uh, 
the suck in, I should say, is okay. like, you know, I'm just trying to get back on my feet. You know, I'm going to try this real estate thing and they can use my name to get business or I'm going to try acting and, you know, this is that and the third. And, um, you know, it's, it's you when you are at like you feel like I will. I feel like okay. that my, my spouse or my whoever I'm dating or whatever is a representation of me. So mm -hmm. when I step out the house. You know what I'm yes. saying? He, he, I'm a little good. Yes. So if my man step out the house, whether he with me or not, he should look good. Now, what it look like? I got new cars. I got new clothes. I got boxes. Amazon coming daily. You know, I'm 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 cute. You know what I'm saying? And my man out here looking dusty and walking. How did you even hear about the show? Did somebody send it to you? and knew y'all was together. Yes. Oh, yes. I knew it. I wasn't I wasn't no more thinking about him than the man on the moon. And then one day my phone just started blowing up and I was like, is it an emergency? Right. Like they gonna let Barack be president again? What's going on? <laughs> Why is my phone blowing up like this? What right, happened? Right. He died. Mm -hmm. And uh I woke up and I had like 37 minutes text messages. Okay. And, and from like six or seven different people, girl, wake up, girl, wake up. Did you see this? You know, sending me screenshots and links mm -hmm. and whatever. And I was like, it's all lies and rolled over and went back to sleep because I just read the first little 14 year blurb. And yes. I'm like, I can think of five or six chicks, you know what I'm saying? And, and just in the past four years, three, four years, you know what I'm saying? And so... Yeah, the, the Caucasian lady, she been around since 2015. So she just a ride or die, no matter what he do, she just gonna be there. The problem she, she probably know about all of y'all. If she's the, she saw the bottom chick, I ain't trying to be funny, but I'm just saying she Yo, saw yeah, that's what I call her. Oh, see, <laughs> she's the bottom chick, and if she watches, she ever watches it. Hey, I'm sorry, she's the bottom chick, and so with that being said, she pays for everything, she knows about everything. And no matter what, he'll always go back to her. No matter what he does, even if he gets married, break his neck to get back to her. I don't even look He must have some kind of like down there. <laughs> he put forty thousand miles on that car in eleven months. Jesus, what was, oh, because you going to see everybody? I'm assuming. No, going back and forth to Tampa. That's the was driving. That's too much everything. I mean, he could have got Southwest points and, and paid $69 and yeah. Then he just wanted to drive or something. That just was his thing, or he just I don't I don't I don't know. Maybe because you can't take your weed on the plane. I don't know. Or mm -hmm. other things. Other things. Other so, things. You no, know, once this once this video go out, he will probably he okay, he won't like hit me up, but I know he's gonna see it because he knows I, I reviewed the show. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna see it. So you know, um, how do you feel about that? I'm not sure he's gonna contact you. He may, I don't know. He may get on no, the he, probably, he he probably won't won't never contact me because okay. I took his toy away. Copy. Gotcha. So yeah, he's he's still in 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 a childlike mannerism. So I took something from him. I had conversations with women about him. And he probably like I, I'm sure there are lots of other women out there that just haven't stepped up and say nothing. And it took me a minute to say something too, because you know, he 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 is, you know, emotionally abusive and you know, some of the things he would say, you know, about your weight or your looks or you know, trying to compare you to being crazy or psycho or whatever. So it does make you think like how everybody is going to look at me when I give this information or, oh, I don't look like someone. So I'm a regular everyday chick. I ain't a basic bitch, but I'm a regular no, everyday no. chick. You know what I'm saying? Right. So um, I'm not trying to be on nobody's glam squad. A shout out to those who do that's what you like it's to do. Look, look at me. This is not my thing. Neither. I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm an average chick. I'm natural. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Like you laid up with me for a good six or seven months before I ever spent a dollar on you. So you like something about it exactly. or that was just the build up. You know what I'm saying? You was priming me for right. whatever it is that you, you know, you wanted. But at the same time, you know, somebody got to speak on it and say something like, shoot, if womanizing was a crime, he would have like at least 10 or 15 uh, charges because I, he's done this to everybody. 
And then when he, he just sucks the life out of you, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, now you got to, I got to rebuild my credit. You know, that's, I work that's, up. Up. that's cold blood right there that you have to redo so many different things because you was with a dude that did not, let's see, y'all were equally yoked. Like they said, right. like, you know, right. And I mean, the amount of money that I had to spend to get back right after him, like when I got the car, every light on was in the car, oil light, engine light, gas light, oh, no. tire pressure light. I spent four grand just to be able to drive it. Oh, and, and then I had to get caught up on the payments. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. all of this. And it's just like, you know, I did this for you. You know what I'm saying? I already had a car. And um, so it's just, it's, I think that, you know, some people are like, oh, well, I'm embarrassed. I don't want to tell the world I did X, Y, and Z, but I did it all out of love. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret that I did it necessarily. I regret maybe I did it for him. I could have been building a better relationship with somebody else who would have appreciated it, but that's just who I am. If I, my man, or even, you know, one of my uh, good friends, if they need help and I'm able to help them, I would do that. Yes, nothing. Nothing is wrong with that. It's this thing about it. it's. It's a uh, good that somebody will hear this because I'm pretty sure women out there who's done it, whether it be with him or somebody else, right? Or friend and friend or whatever, and just they'll stop. probably hear you and be like, maybe I should not do this or get with him. Right. And I'm, I'm here to tell the lady stop being used because if you take all that energy. Um, time and money that you spend over here, you're doing everything you can to reel them back in to get to that point where where y'all are happy. And no matter what more you do, that that ship is passed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you're on one end and they're on this end, and you're constantly chasing them, they're constantly running. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like nothing you can do. Is gonna will not a baby, not a threesome, not more money, not fancier cars. Because if you look at some of the women that he's dated, he's had his so-called ideal woman. Like there, I know there's there's many more women that probably won't step up, but I'm like I ain't got nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm good in my life right now. I'm I'm you know rebuilding everything. So, uh, Lord. Let me tell you, you drop some tea. I ain't know it was gonna be that much tea, but baby, that was a lot. Of it's like I ain't just some chick that he met at the club and then was like, "Oh, uh, do X Y Z for me," and then it was like that. No, like we were. It was it was legit. Well, I, well, I thought, but to right, him, right, right. he was just pretending. But you know, I didn't realize till it was all over with that it was a lie and a game. And this is what she got the shirt off. Say, nah. <laughs> That's my mood today. Nah. And just all the ladies need to know, stop being used. Let it go. Heal yourself yes. and go find you somebody that's going to respect you and bring to the table what you bring to the table. Because if you bring the whole table, the meal. You wanted the baby mamas or something like that. Yeah, oh. over in Lipstick Alley, it's a few of them over there that's going to come out on, on the um, put a ring on it blog over on Lipstick Alley about how he did them and how they were grateful they got away with their credit and their health, you know, before, you know, stuff got too far, you know, deep. So it's 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 a, it's women out there that just don't want to say nothing. I'm like, you know what, I'll be the one to say something because it ain't right for them to be dogging either one of them women because let me tell you, he is a saint charmer. He will for all the right things at all the right time and you will believe that but then he flipped the script later on so yeah. you know we've all had we've all been down that road but i'm just telling everybody who's on that road right now wake up uh get off that bus there's another one going the opposite direction in 10 to 15 Not minutes <laughs> i'm just you know what i'm saying i just i wish somebody would have told me right because you wouldn't have done you wouldn't have you wouldn't have even went there. Mm. I mean, mm -hmm. hey, if you want to kick it good time, dude, then yeah. Marriage material, father material. Um, yeah, no. She said not father. Ooh, uh-uh. Ooh. So much, so much, so much. Okay, so um okay, um, because they everybody because everybody's wanting to know who is Christina Moore. It's me. Okay, okay, I'm so send me that. So so they know you as Christina. Christina Moore. Right, because originally I did make the page because he was blocking me 
um, from seeing posts and people will call me and be like, did you see this while we were together? Did you okay. see he posted this? Did you see he was? I'm like, no, I can't see. So originally I made it so I could see what he was posting that he was hiding from me. And then it just kind of took a life of its own. And then it's been sitting around every now and then when I want to post stuff, I don't want to post on my page because I don't right. want my man to see it. Then, you know, exactly. I'll post it on there. And then when this came out, I was like, well, it's already set up. It's a perfect platform. Okay, so because what I do, I'm gonna say Christina more. Uh -oh, I'm gonna do Christina. It's because that's what they know you for. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Gotcha. All yeah, right. You can, do um, you can do the hashtag. Who is Christina Moore? Because everybody been asking. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna do something like that. Okay. Oh, this was everything.